everybody. How's it going out there? Hope the world's lovely wherever you are. Uh, quite nice and wild West Dorset Don't today. start talking about the weather again. Ah, oh, sorry about that. Okay, well, let's move on from the weather. Um, yeah, we were thinking, we get asked a question a lot um, in interviews and uh, we got asked it again the other day, um, which was, what's it like to be married and to um, work together? Now, it's, it's, it's what we've done since day one, really, work together and be married. So we don't know any different. But it's um, and you've met people along the way who've. Who, some people say, "Oh, that must be fantastic! What a lucky couple you are, being able to live and work together." And other people have said, "That sounds like a bloody nightmare." <laughs> it's true. So you know, it's it, it depends, doesn't it? And, I think and your did, compatibility. It, I yeah, suppose. compatibility is is the uh, is the key, isn't it? And. Within compatibility, obviously, in any marriage or in any work situation, there are moments when things get a bit, uh, can get a bit, uh, what's the word? Faulty. Rubby. Faulty, yeah, faulty. Because, obviously, <laughs> I suppose in our game, you've got to make um, artistic decisions and egos come into it, and you've got to trust each other, and, uh, and com I think communication is a big thing. Uh, you've got to be very clear about what it is you're feeling. And what it is you're thinking. One of the things is, I think, in marriage or or uh, at work, if you're bringing a whole load of baggage to the situation, because I don't know, nobody listened to you growing up or something like whatever, we all go through. Then you're likely to kind of bring that to the to the moment, whether it be in a relationship or in a work based place. So if your boss is like you don't feel like you're being listened to, or your partner, you've got to got to sort that stuff out in your own head. You've got really. to sort your stuff out I think really before you can hope to have a good marriage. Otherwise you will. You'll bring it like a big bag of shit. Yeah. Hanging off your back. Never a good That's a really vile it's never a good scene, is vile it? Vile idea. No, but I Let's think not do that. No, it's definitely good to work yourself out first. Because you can't expect anyone else to make you happy. Uh, no. That's but I suppose truth. we all do carry that that rubbish and we've had to um in a way, the first couple of years of marriage, I think, were probably the most challenging in a way, isn't it? You, you kind of get married and you have to adapt to each other a little bit and find out, you know, you really, you don't know someone until you live with them. Mm. Um, but, you know, I think he, he trained up well. I think, uh, you know, I've got him fully trained now. Um, and that's the skill, isn't it? To sort of train them without them really knowing that you're training them. Um, no, I think he knew. I think he knew what was going on. The thing about you, it's so brilliant, is that um, he listened and he was able to go, actually, yeah, that's reasonable. Well, that's a fairly good idea. I can understand. I'm going to take your judgment on that. And perhaps, you know, next time I will hang the towel back up where it belongs. And he saw logic. And I think if you're not able to listen and hear and go, that seems reasonable, actually, what, what she's saying or the other way around uh, it's reasonable i'll um i'll, I'll endeavor to do put my best ba best effort into that and um and improve uh for the good of all well if you want a nice life you want yeah. it, it's like why would you want like, i'm not going to stand there and be like that towel should stay on that bed because i want it there okay i, I can't Don't tell me what to do messing with <clears throat> these petty towel I, I, issues yeah it's, i had a, a little phrase once which was uh let me just get this right a happy home is a happy wife, and a happy wife is a happy life. I think it's something like that. Something like that. Um, and some truth in there, but you've got to... Yeah. You've got to I and mean, there is some adaption, isn't there? I mean, you're generally messier than me, and, and I'm generally quite, you know, I quite like it tidy, and we've met somewhere in the middle. I've become a bit more relaxed, and he's become a little bit more... A bit, a bit, a bit more on the t tidy. I am naturally messy. Like, you are naturally. I'm naturally messy. Which was a challenge for me, um, but... I'm one of those people that leaves the guitar there or a notebook over there because I'm like, I'm coming back to that at some point. And um, so I don't want to put it away now because I'm going to come back to that. But that could be in three weeks, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, and so, also you were that guy that would um, have that, where are my keys? Where, uh, oh, where did I put the keys? Yeah. It's like, always put the keys in the same place. Be, I always put my keys in the same place. And you know what? They're always there unless he's picked them up. What's funny about that is pocket. I'd put the keys on the trampoline and be like, I'll, I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you never will. <laughs> never will. So, well, yeah. So that, there has been some training. But which... I suppose when you when you're living together and working together and married together, there is there is a different level of. Uh, I suppose what if you finish work, you go home to your partner, 
and if you um off to work you're away from your partner to do work so there is a, i suppose one area where we maybe didn't manage it so well is that it was all happening at the same time it has been all happening at the same time so yeah i wasn't very good at stopping and and just charging on and doing and that's taken quite a long time to just be like it's actually all right to have an hour off you know, you don't have to... Yeah, but also I'm all right with you charging on and I'm you charging are, but on. I think... we're, we're, we're similar like <clears throat> that, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, I just think that there's a level of... I think balancing life and home and work can be a little bit... You have to learn I think it. we've both had to learn that, though. We've both mm. had to learn that we have to take time out. So the answer um, to the question that we get asked a lot is, it's, it's all right, thanks. It's all right. Doing, yeah. doing quite nicely, <clears> thank you very much. It kind of works out okay. I mean, yeah. if you've I think got... Good, yeah, I think you've got, to, you've got to break down the ego a, a lot and um, and be prepared mm. to be wrong. I'd be... I'd, and, I'd... and say you're sorry. That's key, isn't it? Saying sorry is um, massively important. Think, for me personally, I, I just don't think I'm... I, I don't have to be right. Or don't have to... I'm prepared to say I'm sorry. I got that wrong. Because um, I don't think that I'm right, you know, a lot really. It's just I, I, know, I know what I'm good at. I do, I do that, and um, I suppose that's the interesting though, because uh, the only thing I've ever done is songwriting, which I think I'm quite good at. And then you challenge that in terms of like being an artist working, making music together. So there was. It took me a while to get used to like, oh, that's my thing. Oh, hold on a minute, you're telling yes. me that chorus is crap. Or that like, was a problem initially. It did take wasn't me a, little, a minute or two. Yeah. <clears throat> just to kind of get over myself and yeah, think. Yeah, we, we had to break down the defence mechanisms. It's yeah. It's not easy, is it, for anyone, particularly as an artist, if you're being told, not sure you got got that right, mate. No, it's never easy you, that. You whether, know, whether it's a producer. I've been tough. Or... I'll confess, I have. I've been tough on you, and I'm sorry. Well, no, it's good, but it's it's just one of those <laughs> things you have to you have to really learn. I, I think in a band or any creative partnership that just because you gave birth to the idea, which not most as a songwriter you kind of do give birth to the, it doesn't mean that it's if you're going to work with other people, it doesn't mean that you get control of that if you want to work with other people. I suppose that's the same as sharing a home. I, yeah, I sort of had to win your trust on that, didn't I? Yeah, sorry um... about that. But um, you definitely want it, and and uh, but it's yeah. So you know, compatibility yeah. is the thing. Now I think is the main thing. The You've initial. got to understand why somebody like if somebody needs to go off <clears throat> and run or go and do like a marathon. Don't run behind him. Or if anybody <laughs> needs to do what they've got to do, whatever it is, the other person's got to understand why it's important to them. Or, or if that's not compatible, you know, then I think. You know, if your partner yeah. doesn't understand why you've got to, why you need to do something, you need to address that and c clearly communicate it so you don't get resentful. Um, so yeah, you know. You know, risk of sounding smug. It's a work of art, though, isn't it? Any, yeah. any relationship. We've, we've worked on it, is, and we're sort of nailing you've it. You've got to keep working at so relationships. So far, so good. Every day, you've got to keep working on them and um, improve them. They're like little plants that need watering. So there you go. That's a full detailed answer to the question we keep getting asked all the time. It's probably not a full one. I bet we could do a whole hour on it if we really dug deep. A really deep dive. A deep dive. We'll spare you that for now. Uh, have a good but Saturday. Best friends, that's what you want. Your best friend. There it is. Aww. All right. High five. Aww. Have a good weekend with your best friends. Bye. Bye.